Okay, so now we're on part four. So you have got your 3D printer in good shape. You've got it PID auto-tuned for the hot end as well as for the bed. We've got our first layer and so we're now really good as far as being level and having the nozzle plane perfectly parallel with the bed plate. So now we're going to do a baseline print of a 20 millimeter calibration cube. This will allow you to see your X, Y, and Z axis and how close they 3D print to 20 millimeters. So you're going to need some calipers, but once again, we've got this wonderful G-code generator from Teaching Tech. We've got an Ender 3 V2, so I put in 220 and 220. It's also awesome because it carries those dimensions over to each page. We've got PLA, so I'm at 200 degrees C, 60 degree on the bed, no auto bed leveling. And we're going to stick with the retraction we have for now because, once again, we haven't tuned that. Although I can clearly see from just the first layer print, we've got some issues with our retraction distance because we've got a lot of that stringing effect going on. So I'm going to download the G-code. And I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the baseline that I have here. Yes, I want to replace it. And so now what we'll do is we will put this G-code on an SD card, hop over to the printer, and start printing off the calibration cube. Now that we've got our SD card in, we're going to go to Print, Baseline, and we're going to wait for the printer to heat up to 60 degrees Celsius on the build plate, 200 degrees Celsius on the hot end, and then it's going to start printing our cube. baseline print is finished and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break it off the build platform. I'm going to get my digital calipers, make sure it's set at zero, and I'm going to measure the x-axis. We've got 20.06, the y-axis 19.97, and then the z-axis, which is the height at 20.04. And so what we're going to do over the next few steps is we'll do a little bit more calibrations so that way we'll get our little cube a little bit closer. But overall, we've got a little bit of stringing going on. The quality of this print isn't great, but it's going to get better as we continue to tune and calibrate our 3D printer. So now our baseline print is finished. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break it off. Whoa! 